geraniums are like four bucks a piece. Oh, no. yeah. Isn't that ridiculous? What's happened to the price of flowers? Yes. The commercial growers forced all the greenhouses like Coleman's to raise the prices because they're so high. Anyway, that's a lot of So I grow all my own geraniums. I have a mother plant. Anybody know what a mother plant is? It's the old one. Yeah, the old one. I, I bring it in in the fall and put it in indirect light. I don't want it in sunlight, it's indirect light. So it grows, but not too much, or it doesn't grow like crazy. And then in January, February, I make cuttings. Cut it on an angle with a sharp knife, put it in magic soil, put them on a heating pad, you get all the geraniums you ever want. Why buy geraniums anymore? This is an ivy geranium. It's a lavender color, it's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I have about eight of these at home. But isn't that lovely? Question. Where, where do you take your cutting? Now, where do you take your cutting from? I thought you always know, just took the leaves right from the big stem. No, no, you want a stem. You want a piece of the stem. Now, now, there's nothing mysterious about where you take the cutting from. Obviously, you only have so many tops, right? Now, what's nice is you want. It, it's ideal to have some new growth. So, if you cut the stem on the top and you have some new growth, that's best. Okay, that's ideal for the cutting. In a perfect world, but you can make cuttings anywhere. Okay. The stem has its natural desire to grow if it has the right growing conditions. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. And uh, also the Starbucks cup, they're absolutely perfect. It's not too big, not too small, it's just right. All right, I'd like to introduce myself just briefly. My name is Dennis Egan. I live in Twinsburg. I have since 86. I'm a green thumb. I'm not an academic gardener, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a botanist, and I don't know everything. But I know enough to, love, to enjoy gardening and have success. And I'd like to tell you how I started. I was nine years old, and I, I was reading this comic book. Anybody remember comic books? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Superman or something. And I saw this make money. I'm nine years old, make money. What was I thinking about making money for at that age? Maybe buy some Christmas presents for my mother. Sell seeds. But it was expensive. I think look, it was like $25, and that was a lot of money back then. Somehow I talked my mother, I guess I was a salesman even then, talked my mother into buying these seeds for me. And I, I started going calling on my neighbors, knock on. Would you like to buy some zinnias? Would you like to buy some carnations? Would you like to buy some bachelor buttons? I couldn't sell all the seeds. So guess what I did? Planted them. Wow. I learned about more flowers than you could shake a sleep. I was fascinated. I was only nine years old. But that's how I got into gardening. Now, my mother was a gardener. She grew vegetables. She loved roses. And here's what my mother taught me about roses. The best time to view the roses is early in the morning, when the dew is on the petals. Isn't that cool? And I can remember my mother was a smoker. She was a teen smoker. She smoked all her life. She'd have two cigarettes going at once, maybe three. <laughs> I mean, poor, you know, poor mother. But here's my image of her, sitting on the stoop, on the steps, cigarette, cup of coffee, watching me look at the roses. Oh, mother, this red one is just spectacular. The smoke, you know. But I treasure the memory of her being with me when I looked at the roses. Isn't that a wonderful memory? You know, we all have these wonderful memories. Does anyone have a wonderful memory of a relative, a mom or a grandma in the garden that you'd be willing to share? 